Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. So today in this video, I'll show you how you can recover your deleted files in Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7. Well, basically the files might get deleted by accident or it might have just disappeared from your drive without any reason and trust me, losing important data is really heartbreaking. Well, in this video, I'll show you a few ways how you can recover your deleted files. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so before starting the method, as you can see, I am on my PC and in my F drive, there were some files that are now missing. So the first method is kind of basic, but what you need to do is just go ahead and open up your recycle bin because there are many times when you end up losing your files and they are stored in your recycle bin. So right now, as you can see, the original location is F drive. So these were the files that I missed. So just select all of them and then right click and click on restore. Now these will restore the files to the original location, which was an F drive. So in this way, this was a quick uh, way of restoring the files if they were deleted by accident and they got ended up in recycle bin. But if you check your recycle bin and if it's empty, then follow to the method number two. All right, so in order to do method number two, open up your computer and then go to the location where you lost your file. For me, it was an F drive, so I'll go here and then go to home and then go to history. Once you go to history, you will see all your files hidden there. So what I'll do, I'll just select them and then click on re restore to original location. And once it's done, you can see the files are restored into my original location. So for this method to work, your file history feature should be turned on. So if it is turned off, then go ahead to method number three. All right, so in method three, we will be using the free program that comes pre-installed in Windows, which is the CMD. So make sure you search for CMD in your start and then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Once you do that, you'll need to type in some commands. Don't worry, these commands will be there in the description. So you don't need to worry about anything. Just copy it and then paste it over there. But make sure the drive letter is the drive where you lost the files. So for me, it was F drive, so I'll type in F and hit enter. All right, so it will search for the whole drive and it is done. So now we will need to type in or paste in the second code, which is this. And again, make sure you rename the drive letter to the letter where you lost your files and hit enter. So for you, it might work. But for me, it didn't work because, you know, the success rate is really low. But again, it's good to try at least. Okay, so let's try method number four. And for this method, you will be needing a free tool that you can download from the Microsoft Store. So the name of the tool is nothing but Windows File Recovery. Don't worry, I'll try to give the download link in the description. But you can search it in Microsoft Store. Uh, it's a really small size file, so you can download it for free. Once you open up the uh, tool, so there you'll be needing to type in this code, which is nothing but W-I-N-F-R. And then uh, type in the source of the drive, which is nothing but the F. So it is the place from where I want to like recover the files. And then space and then type in the location where I want to paste or yeah, where I want to paste the files. So I want to paste those files in the D drive. So let's hit enter. And then let's wait for some time. Now it will do its magic and it will ask the drive source a source drive is F and destination folder is D recovery and with some numbers. So let's press Y. So it will try to recover the files. All right, so it's done, 100% progress, uh, view recovered files, hit Y. And so these are the files. Let's open it up if it worked. And yes, it did work. 
and so is the other files. Let's try with the video. Okay, so it says cannot render the file. So some of the files were recovered, but not all the video file was. Um, I think it got corrupted, but the even the compressed file has been working. So yeah, partially it worked and partially it didn't. So that was method number four. All right, so now you must be thinking like all the other methods are so complicated. You need to type in different codes and whatnot. But don't worry, the last method is by using a professional data recovery software. And it's really easy to use. And so for this video, I will be using the Any Recover by iMyPhone. So the main reason to use Any Recover by iMyPhone is that uh, it supports more than 1000 file types and also the trial free trial version allows the users to back up or recover up to eight files and up to no size limit. So these are some bold claims and that's the main reason why I'll be using this tool. So after opening it up, after opening up any recover, I'll select the drive, which is nothing but the F drive. Okay. And then we'll click on start. Now this scanning process will take some time. So what I would suggest you to do is just go ahead and get yourself a coffee uh, that, because that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll be pausing the video right now and then I'll be resuming once the video or once the progress bar hits 100. So stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, it says scan complete. And also it says if some files were not found, please recover the found ones first and then go back and try again. So we'll click on okay. And then let's, uh, so here we have the folders. Let's try opening up the folders. So, all right, PNG. All right, so there are so many number of files. Uh, all right, there might be some reason like uh, the files might be um, like reappearing for more than once or twice. So these are the files as we can see here. Uh, it was this video. Let's try opening it up if it works. Uh, double clicking on it. It says loading, please wait. You know what? What we're going to do is just we will be uh, recovering all these files. Uh, so these were the files. And this one and other files. I don't know what they are. Maybe some uh, system files. So which are which we are not interested. So we'll be selecting all these uh, five files and then click on recover. Now we will be recovering. You'll be needing to put in the path where you want to uh, save those recovered files. So for me, I'll be choosing desktop and hit OK. And it will take some time. So we'll wait for that. All right, so the process has been done. So you can see it says congratulations. The files recovery complete. Hit OK and close this thing. Exit. So now let's check if the files are successfully recovered. So trying to open up the files. So yeah, you can see uh, the video is working. Um, all right, I'm sorry. So let's try opening up the photo. All right, it's working again. Even this one. Yep. Uh, let's try the zipped one. Test. All right, so as you can see, it says no errors during test. So in this way, you can successfully recover the files using a professional tool like uh, any recover. So uh, these were some of the uh, methods by which you can recover lost files from your Windows PC. So if you got any queries, you know how to reach us down in the comment box down below. And that's pretty much it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.